What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in my lab in Denver, Colorado, and today I wanted to talk about different mushroom farming grow schedules. Before we get into this video though, I would like to ask all of you guys to light up that like button, smash the subscribe button. It really helps us get our content out there. It boosts the YouTube algorithm and I would appreciate it if you really enjoy this content. Just a side note, it's my fifth year going into the farmer's market. And since I started, I've kind of scaled my grow every single year and I wanted to talk about the different grow schedules that would fit into your daily lifestyle or grow schedule based on what your target yields might be for this upcoming season. The first category of grower that I like to consider is the weekend warrior. So we teach a two day cultivation class and it goes from spore all the way to fruiting from start to finish and this is on Saturday and Sunday. So if you're just starting out in this hobby, I recommend this kind of grow schedule so you don't become overwhelmed. Um, often the weekend warrior will have a full-time job or a family or be in school and this is just a great way to dip your feet into growing mushrooms and learn at a small scale so that your mistakes aren't as costly. So doing the weekend warrior schedule, you can expect to get about five pounds of mushrooms a week, especially once the grow cycle starts going. And the space required is often just a four by four grow tent or a Martha setup. So if you wanna check out what a Martha setup is, you can check our Amazon affiliate page and go under the, the title Martha tent setup and we have our latest 2023 recommendations for a 4x4 grow tent. That way you can do it in a small space in your room or in the basement and it's not going to take over your house. Um, it's a great way to grow reliable mushrooms throughout the grow season. I started off with a tiny little hydroponic tent and soon it grew into this large scale business. To grow as a weekend warrior, one day you are going to want to dedicate to all the material prep. So whether that's pouring your auger plates, making liquid cultures, making grain spawn, um, making bulk substrate, all of that requires a little bit of time. So maybe four hours every Saturday. And you can cut that time down by buying mushroom grow kits or buying pre-poured plates. So I'll post some affiliate links in the description below of some of the shops that I recommend, or you can go ahead and check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi, if you're interested in our genetics. So day one is going to be material prep, and then day two is going to be the actual procedures. So you're going to need somewhat of a clean room. If you haven't seen our video yet, on how to grow mushrooms without a flow hood. I posted a video on growing mushrooms in a still air box, which is just a clear tote that's flipped upside down. So you just need a tabletop to do all this work, as well as your grow room or the four x four fruiting tent for the weekend warrior. So all of the procedures together, whether you're inoculating your auger, you're um, inoculating your grain spawn, or you're inoculating your bulk substrate, it's going to take about an hour or two every Sunday. So you'll wanna set aside about six hours a weekend to yield about five pounds a week of mushrooms. The, uh, the last step, which is the most important in my opinion, is going to be harvesting your mushrooms and cleaning your grow space. So if you're doing the weekend warrior, you should be getting mushrooms every weekend if you keep it consistent over time. So you can pick those mushrooms, hopefully you'll get a second or third flush, and then when the time comes and the mushrooms stop producing, you can compost that or you know do some outdoor experiments with those grow blocks, whatever suits your need or whatever suits your space. And then you're going to have to clean out that grow room because you want to keep your, your fruiting chamber as clean as possible in this type of workspace. So that leads me to 
the next level of grower, which is going to be the market master. So the expectations of a market master grower are going to be about 100 pounds a week. Um, it's going to require about 40 hours a week of labor and you're going to need about 400 square feet. So for me, this was starting in my basement. A lot of growers will start as a market master in their garage or in a, a spare shed in their backyard. So you will need a substantial amount of space to grow about 100 pounds a week of mushrooms. So the grow schedule for a market master looks somewhat like this. So Monday will be a bulk run. So for me, I was doing about 40 to 80 five pound bags a week in my bulk substrate. Now you wanna do this early in the week so that you give your substrate a substantial amount of time to cool. So the next, so then on the second day, you can do your grain spawn. So you're gonna be preparing larger amounts of grain spawn. There's a few different techniques on how to do that. But then if you do your bulk substrate on Monday and your grain spawn on Tuesday, then Wednesday can be your inoculation day. So all of your substrates will have plenty of time to cool and then you can have your, your empty flow hood ready to inoculate all of your bags. And then Thursday is going to be cleaning and flipping your rooms, um, possibly interacting with your customers, and then also preparing for the farmer's market, which is why it's called a market master. So oftentimes farmer's ma markets are on the weekend, so you need ample time to pick and package your mushrooms, which is also what I recommend doing on Friday. So for my farm, Friday is our local pickup day. So I'll often be packaging my mushrooms throughout the day and then meeting with customers like uh, chefs or CSA programs who come and pick up those mushrooms every week. And then Saturday, I devote all of my day to the farmer's market. So I love the farmer's market atmosphere. I love meeting our customers face to face. And it's really enjoyable to be outside in the sh sunshine, especially during the prime summer season here in Colorado. And I'm blessed that we, we are at the Cherry Creek Farmer's Market with a beautiful view of the Front Range Mountains. It makes my week worth it every single weekend. So if you're interested in checking out our mushrooms on every Saturday from nine to two, we'll be at the Cherry Creek Farmer's Market. And that leads me to the next level of grower, which is going to be a community cultivator. So I'm very excited. This is our first year that we're going to be in our new building in Sedalia. So as you start to scale up your grow, you're going to need more space. So we built a 1500 square foot Quonset building that I am going to be fruiting all of my mushrooms this year. So we kept our laboratory set up and our, our operations here in Denver, and then we are going to be transporting our blocks down to Sedalia while we finish building out the new lab there. So that allows us to four or five X our production because we can maximize the space that was the fruiting area in Denver. And then it also separates our lab from our fruiting room, which allows us to produce better quality cultures and kind of have that separation of contamination, which is really vital to growing mushrooms. So the schedule that I'm going to be running for this season is very similar to the market master schedule. I'm gonna be scaling up my grow blocks to 10 pound blocks. And then also I'm going to be running two bulk substrates, one on Monday and one on Thursday and then that Thursday substrate will sit until the following Wednesday. So it's the same schedule, Monday bulk, Tuesday grain, Wednesday is going to be inoculations, and then Thursday I'm gonna squeeze in another bulk run, and then Friday pick and pack, Saturday farmer's market. So it's a little bit of extra work, but for massive amounts of gain for my production and you know, with the, with the use of a Bubba's barrel, which if you haven't seen that video, go check out my video on the Bubba barrel 
unboxing that really allowed me to free up my time um, there's going to be a lot more picking and packaging but I'm hopeful that I'll be able to offer better bulk deals with this amount of growing mushrooms so that's kind of the limitation where I'm at right now our bottleneck is that we don't have a lab set up in Sedalia yet but we're working on that. It's kind of a long, slow project to grow our mushroom farm, but we're very grateful for all the customers that we have. Um, we're gonna be doing another CSA up in Arvada, and we are starting to supply some smaller growers with grain spawn and colonized grain spawn. So if you're interested in that, email us. Uh, we'll have a limited supply this year, and then hopefully I can offer my genetics and I'm really diving into some breeding procedures that I, I hope it will dial in my strains for the new facility okay so that's kind of where I'm at after five years and then kind of projecting farther out from there is going to be uh, the commercial conquistador as I call it so these are very large scale mushroom farms. They are running daily operations. So Monday they're doing everything that I just talked about and then they're doing that seven days a week. So the limitations are going to be the space. So this is going to be 3000 square foot plus facilities. Um, labor is going to go way up if you're, if you're designating each part of the process to one specific laborer maybe you have to have some technicians on hand up until now i have been doing this with me and my wife and now our new son nolan so i'm trying to keep things family small but if you're interested in scaling up these are some considerations that you're going to need another issue is going to be distribution and i think that the limiting factor at these large-scale commercial farms is just going to be the market so the market for mushrooms is growing rapidly. Um, I think that there is an opportunity for these large scale farms, but the challenges with sourcing materials and just scaling your operations is going to be the main issue when you're, when you're going commercial. And I'm talking thousands of pounds of mushrooms a week here. All right guys, so I hope that clears up the grow schedule for most of you. If you're interested in diving deeper into the subject, I recommend checking out our ebook, Growing Gourmet Mushrooms for Market, How to Make a Living Growing Gourmet Mushrooms at Home. So over the past five years, I've grown over 12,000 pounds of mushrooms in my basement here in Denver, and now we're scaling up to our new farm in Sedalia. If you're interested in learning more, there's a lot of great information on how to you know save costs and scale your business and there's some information about how to get proper licenses and make sure that you're staying compliant as you're growing your mushrooms also if you're looking for any starter cultures check out our etsy shop fresh fungi we just stocked up with a bunch of liquid cultures and we're ready for the 2023 season okay guys once again, if you enjoyed this content, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these, and until next time, much love.